Hi, and welcome to another Ping Flutter Cloud tutorial. My name is Tyson North. I'm the customer success engineer here at Ping Man Tools, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Ping Flutter Cloud for network validation. Onboarding new clients is no easy task, and it becomes even more difficult when your services depend on a healthy network that is outside of your control. This doesn't get any easier when onboarding a new remote employee. How do you know that when the client or the employee says they have good internet, it's actually true? And even then, there can be things on their internet service provider's network that could cause problems. You don't want to install your service and then have the client reporting problems the first time they go to use it. Nor do you want to spend the time training a new employee if their network doesn't allow them to do their job. Fortunately, Ping Flutter Cloud can help you validate a network before you even step foot in the door or extend an offer. The first step is to create and deploy an agent. An easy way to keep track of new clients or employees when you're just pre-screening their network is by using an agent template. Give the template a friendly name like network validation and then use one of the variables such as machine name. Or you could create a new agent for any new employees or prospective customers. Since this is to qualify someone's connection to find out if they can even connect to your services, then your targets are most likely going to be the same every time. You'll want to use the preset targets option to make this an even easier test to perform. I want to make sure that my employees are able to connect to my VoIP services. So I'll set one target to VoIP.ms, and then I'll set another one to Google's DNS 8.8.8.8, just so that I have a baseline. Once I deploy this agent, it will automatically start tracing to VoIP.ms and Google. I'll let this run for a week or so, and then come back to check in on it. After spending some time collecting data, you want to use insights to automate the investigation step. You're busy and you don't have time to learn how to interpret ping plotter data. Insights will scan through the available data for you, determine what percentage of that time frame the connection was suitable for the selected task, such as VoIP, and then pick out any events that may have contributed to poor connection quality. I'll open my trace to VoIP.ms and then open the insights panel. It defaults to scanning the previous 24 hours, but I'm going to change it to run on the last 48. This particular target appears to run perfectly fine most of the time, but there are moments when VoIP quality would have been less than ideal. According to Insights, the problem is most likely related to bandwidth saturation in the local network. Luckily, that's something I can easily explain to the client. And now that I've got this data, it's time to share what I found. In Clutter Cloud, I can easily share the results of my test with a client or employee and then give them some guidance on how to get the issue resolved. Since we were able to easily find the problem using Insights, we'll want to share this target using Live Share. We first set the screen up to show exactly what we want the client or employee to see and then create the Live Share. I can now send this URL to the client or employee and whenever they open this URL, they'll see the exact same thing that was on my screen. It will be extremely easy to discuss the results together and work out a game plan for improving the connection. You now know how to use Ping Flutter Cloud to validate network connections before any work has even started. Using this method, you'll be able to save yourself the pain of having to retroactively explain to an angry client why your service isn't working as well as expected. You also won't waste any time training new employees only to find out that they can't even take a phone call. Use Ping Flutter Cloud to make onboarding clients and employees a little less of a headache. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at support at pingman.com. And as always, happy pinging.